Hi, I'm Sean Toomey, and in this video, I want to have a look at Facebook, and I want to see how I can download all my personal data from the Facebook website. I've never done this before, so this is the first time I'm giving this a try. I've heard about it on a news reports, so I'm very interested to grab all my data and have a look at what I can get. So what you want to do is log into Facebook. I'm currently logged in. I'm looking at my profile. On the top right, you'll see an arrow. You click onto that arrow, and you will click on Settings. And right here at the bottom, you'll see download a copy of your Facebook data. So I'm going to click this link, download your information, get a copy of what you've shared on Facebook, what's included, posts, photos, videos you've shared, your messages and chat conversations, info from the about section of your profile and more. So next you want to click on start my archive. And now it's asking me for my password. So I'm just going to pop in my password, click submit. It may take a little while for us to gather your photos, wall posts, messages, and other information. We will then ask you to verify your identity in order to help protect the security of your account. Great. So I'll click Start My Archive. Download requested. We are gathering your information and will send an email to my email address when it is ready for download. Great. So after requesting a download of your data from Facebook, you'll get an initial email that confirms that you've requested your data, and then you will get another email that'll include the link that you can use to download your data. So I've received both of those emails. Usually it takes a few minutes. For me, it probably took about five to 10 minutes to receive the second email. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this link in the email. So there we go, download your information, get a copy of what you've shared on Facebook, and I'll click download archive. Again, I need to enter my password. So there we go, the download has started. It is 229 megabytes, so that is fairly large. I guess this really depends how much you've shared on Facebook in terms of photos, videos, posts. The more videos and photos you've shared over the years, the larger this file will be. So I'm just gonna let this file download and then I'm interested to see what's inside that zip folder. So there we go, I've successfully downloaded that archive. Here you can see it in the downloads folder, so I'm just gonna unzip that. And here we can see that we've got messages, photos, videos, and HTML. Let's see what happens if I open this index file. So there we go, it's probably a summary of all my details. Ah, this is interesting, if you click on to contact info, you'll find all the different details from all your different friends, I guess, and contacts. So here, all their details, so phone numbers, email addresses, everything. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Timeline. So this is just sort of a skeletal representation of my timeline going back to 2007. Uh, photos. Okay, so it just shows me a representation of all the photos that I've shared. Uh, videos. Friends, it's a list of all my friends, probably when we got connected. Messages. So yeah, it's got everything here. All my private messages, events that I've probably attended and created. Security settings ads, so they add topics. Advertisers who uploaded a contact list with your info. Ah, this is interesting. It's very interesting seeing all of this data. So if we go back to the downloads folder, I'm assuming the other folders, photos and videos, contains all my photos and videos. So that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to back up all my photos and videos and possibly delete them from Facebook. So that's how you download your personal information and data from Facebook. This has definitely been a very interesting exercise. I highly recommend that you do this on your own Facebook profile, even just to take a look. It is fascinating to see how much data Facebook collects. And this is obviously because we give this data to Facebook and Facebook also tracks various activities. And if an advertiser, for example, captures your phone number or your email address and they upload their list to Facebook, it all gets connected inside the back end of Facebook within their algorithms. It's really fascinating. I highly recommend you do this for your own account and then you can decide how you want to interact with Facebook going forward. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
I'm Sean Toomey. Thanks for watching. Wishing you an awesome day. I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.